Hey there and welcome to another video. Um, I didn't do an introduction in my clips, so here's your introduction. Welcome to another video. This one is uh, just a random video that I'm doing, but uh, just wanted to show you some of the TVs that we have here at my second job. So they have a couple of older CRTs that I think are interesting and uh, some newer TVs. Uh, so a total of five that I'll be showing you in this video and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. I'm working on other videos um, for the phones that I've purchased. I've purchased a couple of old cell phones, so uh, be on the lookout for those. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, here is the TVs. So this is one of the TVs um, in my in the break room here at work, and uh, it doesn't work. I've tried multiple plugs, but I figured why not? I'll show you how it looks here. It is a very old TV. It is a Magnavox. There's me. Hello. So on the bottom here, you got sharpness, picture, brightness, tint, color, and it's all little scrolly wheels here. You also have an auto color on and off. This has a built-in VCR. And you've got some controls up here. So we've got our rewind, search, and fast forward on the Magnavox logo there. I believe there was a cover that went over that before. You have your stop, eject, play, still, record, your volume up and down, channel up and down, power. And then there is where the tape would go. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't work, but it looks pretty cool and uh, it's definitely old. And you can see the speakers are on the sides of the TV. And I'll go around back and show you the, uh, the rest of it here. Okay, so we're on the back of the TV here. So on the bottom here we have our electric plug, vertical hold. I just put it back here. Here's the serial information and the date it was made. January of 1990. And then here is the uh, ports in and out here. So we've got a cable in and that's coming from the ceiling here. And then we've got um, our input for uh, another device if you wanted, uh, the RCA. And that's about it. So yeah, that's this TV. This is one of the meeting rooms that we have here. And we have this big old Sony here. This one looks a little bit newer. I can't quite look at the back of it because it's in the corner here. But um, I'd say this is probably 25, possibly more inches. It's pretty large. Um, they do have a VCR DVD player, which is not plugged in. And then we have a Comcast cable box. So this is a you know very old one, but I will uh, get up here a little bit so you can see. So on the front, we got our controls here set up, TV video, volume, channel, and power. And it's in good shape. I mean, it's an older one, but it still works really well. Trinitron, and uh, this is a JVC system here. And we got our old Comcast remote. I'm sure y'all have seen it before. So let's see how it looks. Do you love that sound? Murphy's ball in. It's Morrison. It's clicked on. It's an excellent save again from Glazer. And they've got it coming in through the AV in. The Cardiff haven't committed. No, oh, okay, so nothing was showing up there. We have no picture for some reason. Okay. We're sorry you're having difficulty with this. <laughs> oh, man. Well, they are looking at HD channels, so that could be the problem. So we'll just go to whatever. Does, does this work? Okay, so there we have, we have a picture now. So, it, I mean, it's got a decent picture on it. Okay, so we got our watch in HD option there. But as you can see, a lot of the channels have the black bars now on the top and bottom because everything is in HD. So, but it's still a good TV, still looks good. And uh, yeah, so anyway, so that's that one. And here is in a much larger meeting room that we have with a break room on the second floor. And here's the final TV that I'll be showing you. So this one is another Sony Trinitron. 
it also has, I'm not gonna be up, meaning up to show you this here, but this one has a Magnavox DVD player. This one is a flatter one. And it also has the Comcast box. So I'm gonna use the same remote and hopefully it turns on. Do we have any power? <laughs> uh, let's see. No, nothing? Okay. It is, well, it's definitely plugged in. It's kind of a mess back here. And this TV is from 2002. So, 2002. This DVD player actually has a fan in the back. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Okay. Well, let me see if I can get this thing to turn on. And here we go. So, um, once again, they were on the HD channels and they weren't showing anything, so... This, uh, this one is a little bit smaller screen, it looks like, but... Flat screens of this era kind of looked a little weird. At least access. The colors look pretty good, though. Before I met her. Going around with this it has the speakers here. on each side, so these models married, also were kind of hard to fit in traditional well, life, cabinets right. that they had. Um, I'm sure you guys remember the cabinets that they had to put TVs in, one, and it was like a, you know, a square of a certain so size, and these had the speakers on the side, so it actually wouldn't again. fit in traditional so ones. We're not going to prepare any different because we are playing at a pretty high level right so now. Yeah, hopefully you can see um, it looks pretty good though. Our focus and, intensity and, um, and then on top of that, you have your controls on the TV here. So you've got a uh, video input on the front, your channel, menu, TV video, volume, channel, all that good stuff. And there's a little bit of a close-up view. I don't know why the video 3 doesn't go away possible that that's a display thing. Alright, so those are the TVs. So not too bad. And we do have some of the newer TVs. So this is a 50 inch, I believe, Samsung TV. It is a uh, 1080p flat panel. Not sure how old, but um, it's been here since I started. So that was 2015. So I'm guessing it's maybe 2013, 14 that they got it. So, um, but yeah, this one's nice and it's basically used for a screen. It's used to show pictures on the screen. So slides and good stuff like that. So, and this is the last one, I believe. Um, this one is a TCL. Um, it's also a couple years old. Um, and it's been here since I was here, since I started. So here's the remote for it. And I don't think this is like one of the newer ones that has, um, the Roku or anything included. Oh, okay. There we go. I was pressing it and there was no no change in the light. Usually you'll see a little change in the light right there. Um, this doesn't have anything hooked up to it, I don't believe, but they do use it for connecting computers. So you have the uh, VGA cord down there and then they had an Apple TV up there, but I guess they don't have it any longer. But anyway, this one is probably another 1080p, uh, maybe 39, 42 inch screen possibly, but uh, it's a couple years old, so it's a TCL, and I bought a TCL last year, so I guess they're pretty decent. Let's turn that bad boy back off. And uh, yeah, so those are the TVs of my job. Thanks for watching.